Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to do a multiple up imposition for a booklet. Now I have in front of me a file in InDesign that is set to five and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. That's going to be my finished booklet size. It's a 32 pager. And I've already have my bleed set up here with a quarter inch, uh, excuse me, an eighth of an inch on all four sides. So now I have, have everything set up. I want to go ahead and I want to um, get this ready to print. So I want to export this out as a print ready PDF file um, or use the built in print booklet function from within InDesign to uh, make a postscript file that I can uh, print to a PDF. I've actually talked about how to use the print booklet function before. Um, so if you haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link to it. But basically what you do is you come in here and you go file print booklet and you want to make sure you have your two up saddle stitch and over here I want to change my um, print settings to be on a 12 by 18 size sheet centered up on the page and I'm going to add some crop marks here. I'll hit OK and I'll go ahead and I'll click on my preview button here and this shows me the preview of my booklet. Now the pagination is correct. I have page one and 36, then two and 35, three and 34. So everything is um, paginating correctly, just like it should. Um, however, I am unable to put it to up on a sheet to maximize my sheet size. Uh, basically, when we're printing on a digital machine, most of the time people have a click charge. So you get charged a set amount no matter what the, the uh, sheet size that you put through your press. So if you can, you always try to put multiple copies on a, on a sheet, um, if at all possible. Well, this is a perfect example of being able to put two different copies for an eight and a half by five and a half size book. However, this print booklet function from within InDesign does not have the capability to go ahead and place it two up on a sheet. So unfortunately, this method is not going to work. So what I've done is I've already exported a PDF file and I just called it 36 page booklet here. So if I uh, let me close this out here, um, if I go in here, this is my 36 page book and it's set, <clears throat> excuse me, to a finished size of 5.75 by 8.75. So that includes our one eighth of an inch bleed on all four sides. And now we, again, we need to set this um, paginate it properly and set it to up on a 12 by 18 size sheet. So the easiest way that I found is to use uh, PDF Snake. Um, again, if you haven't watched any of my videos on PDF Snake, it's a, uh, a very, it's, well, it's free to try. Um, you are allowed to use this software and download at least one PDF uh, for free a day. But it's uh, relatively cheap as far as imposition software goes. You can basically get it for less than $15 a month, which if you're using it from a day-to-day -day basis, I think is very, very afford affordable. Um, so we're going to start here. We're going to click on Browse to begin here. We're going to choose our 36-page booklet PDF that we created. And you can see here it's plopped it in. I have my final sh uh, sheet size over here. From, that is pulled from the file itself and if I scroll down it has a total of 36 pages here. So from this point what we want to do is we want to use the booklet module here to create a saddle stitch book. And uh, let me scroll back to the top here and what we want to set the finish size is 11.25 by 8.75. And the reason we're not using the full 12 by 18 yet is we want to be able to go ahead and set up our booklet part of this um, uh, job first. So since we have five and a half by eight and a half as our finish size plus a bleed, we're going to go ahead and set that to 11 and a quarter by eight and three quarters. And that will include our outside one eighth of an inch bleed on all four sides here. We're going to center the output up on a page. We're going to, not going to draw any crop marks in this step. And then we're just going to go ahead and pull the bleed information from the document. So this is going to look in here and realize that there is a one eighth of an inch bleed on all four sides. And it's going to find that information and basically save it for later since we're not doing any crop marks or anything like that. So now that we have our imposition set up and just to double check, here's our one 
36, 235, 334, 433. So our pagination is perfect for a um, saddle stitch book. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create that duplicate two up layout on a 1218. So booklet was our first module that we chose. And now what we're going to do is we're going to stack another module on top of it. And this is one of the great things about PDF Snake is that you can add multiple modules to your imposition to do multiple things with it. So booklet was our first module. Cards is going to be our second module here. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to um, take our original 11 and a quarter by 8 and 3 quarter size layout and now put this on a 12 by 18 size layout and we're gonna it's going to realize that it has enough room here so it can automatically put this two up on a sheet uh, I clicked on my double-sided box there because this is obviously double-sided my gutters are gonna be set to a quarter inch so I have a quarter inch here in between the top layout and the bottom layout uh, now ob obviously I can make this smaller if I wanted to um, I can't really make it bigger because otherwise um, this information here, the crop marks and everything are going to go off the page. So I have a quarter inch here as my gutter. I'm going to go ahead and draw in those crop marks this time. Four color black because it's a four color process job. And then again, I'm going to pull bleed information from the document. And once I do that, you see here everything is already set up so that I have my two up layout on my 12 by 18 size sheet. The last thing that I want to do here is, again, you can add multiple modules. I'm going to go ahead and add a little header and footer here. So I'm going to add a footer down at the bottom. If I click on edit, uh, you can change the font size and the font type here if you uh, want to. But basically, I'm going to have PDF Snake go ahead and pull the file name. I'm going to put in the word sheet, sheet number, and then of and sheet count. So this way, it'll tell me exactly which of the sheets um, are being printed at that time. Uh, you can mess with the margins here so you can move it over up and down or you can um, choose the position that you want. And after I do that, it'll go ahead here and it'll put this little tag down here. And if I zoom in a little bit, you can see here it's pulled, pulled the PDF name from the file and then I have sheet one of nine. So. Basically what this just does is it helps my binary folks uh, identify the sheet number that they're uh, pulling for the actual booklet. Um, at my job we use uh, booklet makers with collating towers so each one of these sheets are printed uh, uncollated and then they stack them up, they put them in the collating towers and then they assemble the book and saddle stitch it all at one time. So this helps the bindery folks know which um, uh, which signature goes in each one of the collating towers. Um, again, I could add an additional step. I could add either another tag or I can add a set of color bars here if I wanted to. Um, I'm kind of limited in the space that I have just based off of the uh, um, document size here and the sheet size. But I have the ability to do multiple things with this if I wanted to. Um, that's all I'm going to do for today, so I'm not really actually going to add another step to it. And then from there, all I have to do is just download my PDF. I'm going to go ahead and open it from my desktop here. And you can see now I have my perfectly paginated um, style stitch book that is now set two up. So I maximize my sheet size. Uh, I cut down on my click costs. And then actually I should probably also in, uh, increase this, the speed that I print these out since I'm doing them two up at a time. So that's the way that you can stack modules with PDF Snake and how we can go ahead and two up impose a smaller size booklet on a 12 by 18 size sheet. So I hope that some, uh, helps somebody. I know that obviously there's software out there that exists that you can do this all in one step like Fire and Pose, but not everybody has Fire and Pose. So I figured I would go ahead and share that tip for you guys today. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if you uh, have any questions or you need help with anything. Um, as always, check out the Patreon page if you want to support me a little bit more for all the work that I do here. Um, and uh, as always, you know, leave a uh, uh, leave a comment if you can. Give the uh, video a thumbs up and uh, share it if you uh, know somebody that might need this. Thanks for watching, folks. I appreciate it. And until the next one, have a good one. Take care.